This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced techniques in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate how to create a cast shadow from a green screen image. So I need to do a chroma key. How do I do that? Well, the chroma key is in the filters, keying, keyer, and the default settings are pretty darn good. To refine that just a bit, I'm going to select sample color and sample the color near his head, but not precisely there. And we're good. So that's done. We've applied the keyer, and we've got a key. The problem is the video clip is longer than my project. I'm going to grab the clip in the mini timeline and drag until I find the end of the clip. There's the end of the video clip. And drag it, because I want the end of the clip, not the beginning. And as I play this back, we see him looking, looking at us. Notice I don't have to wait any time to render. He's looking at us, and then he walks off. I could make the key cleaner. I'm not going to worry about it. I've got some edging right in here that I could worry about, but the process of chroma key we've talked about in past webinars. I want to use this as part of a bigger project, so I'm going to leave the key alone. So I have my chroma key shot and I've applied the key. Now let us put a background in here. Select the background, go to the library, and again we'll go to content, and we're going to search for stage, and there is stage 8. Grab that and drag it in. We have a nice stage behind him, except don't want that green that high up. So let's take this and drag it up. And let's take this and drag it down. And I can change the position of those elements so it makes it look a little bit better. Pull him just a bit higher in the frame. Good. Select the background. Notice I have the group that contains the background. I can apply filters to groups as well as individual elements. Select the background, go to blur, apply a Gaussian blur, and go to the inspector and increase the amount a bit so the background is a little bit softer, like about that. Look at this. This is incredible. And now let's turn on our foreground. Now look at that, except be really nice if he had a shadow, but he's against a green screen. How can we possibly create a shadow? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Control click on the key and say duplicate. Now I have the foreground and the copy. So I'm going to turn off the foreground, keep the copy selected, apply filter, color, threshold. And we've now remapped the pixels. I'm going to click on light color, go here, and just set it to black. And we now have an outline of his key. We still have his key, because I made a copy right here, but I have the outline. Go to the tool palette, select distort, grab the distort, and pull the shadow off to the side and stretch it out the same way as any other shadow, right about there with the shadow selected. Go to filters and now we're going to look at a different blur. It's going to be a gradient blur. This is the point where things are in focus. That's the point where things are out of focus. Grab the in focus point, put it right about there. Take the out of focus point, put it right about there, and crank the amount. Let's pull that farther back. There we go. Pull this down. I don't want it cropped. See how it's cutting across the top? I don't want it cropped. There we go. I want his shadow to be as soft as possible. And now we'll turn on the key. Again, with this selected, we'll go to Properties. We'll change the opacity to about 35%. Too little, let's make it 45%. There we go. And now as we play it back, Is that not cool? This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting a variety of advanced techniques in Apple Motion. 
For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 305. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.